Alright traders, it's Thursday. That means it's time for your final order cutoff video for the books with final order cutoff this Sunday, the 24th and Monday the 25th of April 2022. Make sure to contact your local comic shop to get these books on order. Stay tuned for my spec report and I'll see you on the other side. And here are our comics with final order cutoff next Monday, April 25th, 2022. We start with Captain Carter, issue number three in this five-issue run. This book's going to have three different open-order covers, including this Fortnite variant. I expect to see a lot of those. And is only $3.99. Next on the list is Devil's Reign, Omega, issue number one. This book is going to have five covers to choose from, including this beautiful Peach Momoko. As you all know, I'm kind of hit and miss on Momoko, Lately, she's been knocking it out of the park. Next, we have Hulk, issue number seven. This book is going to have five different covers for us to choose from this week. And then we have Punisher, issue number three, and that's going to have two available covers. Now it's time for our indie comics. Make sure to contact your local comic shop to get these great books on order. We're going to start with Dark Horse Comics. First, we have Black Hammer Reborn, this book is at issue number 12, finishing its run, and we're going to have a couple different covers to choose from. Next is Breakout, issue number 2 of 4, and that's going to have a couple different covers on it. Then we have Count Crawley, Amateur Midnight Monster Hunter. This is a great book, a great series. We only have one cover showing, and then we have Shaolin Cowboy, Cruel to be Kin. Now this is going to have three different covers for it. Looks like that's a beautiful Mignola cover. I really like Shaolin Cowboy and this is going to be a fun run. Over at IDW Publishing, got some Sonic there. We've got TMNT King Rat. This is a one shot and it kind of tells the story of this character. And then Transformers is at issue 43. That's going to have a couple different covers for us. And Usagi Ujimbo is at issue number 28 in the ongoing series. From Dynamite Publishing this week, we can pre-order Jennifer Blood. All the Dynamite books, of course, have several covers. John Carter of Mars. As of this recording, I haven't picked up issue one. It comes out tomorrow. Looking forward to this series. Several covers and beautiful cosplay cover there. And then we got NYX, issue number six. And there's several covers for that one as well. And then on to Boom Studios, we've got Alice Ever After. We're at issue number two. Issue number one was a super cool book. Really liked that one. This has got a couple covers. We've got Angel, issue five of eight. A nice spike cover there. Faithless, issue number four. This is a Love It cover. There's a couple other covers for this one. Uh, I believe we only have the one solicited right now. Of course, House of Slaughter is at issue number six. There's several covers for that book. And Power Rangers, issue number 19. We're showing a couple covers on that one. Looks like three. And finally, we've got Vampire Slayer Buffy. This is issue number two in this new series. There's a few different covers. They've only got artwork for one. Now, from Aftershock Comics... We have Kaiju Score, Still from the Gods, issue number two in this follow-up series. That's going to have a single cover. Land of the Living Gods is at issue number four. And Spectro, a new one-shot from writer-artist Juan Do. Then from Archie Comics, we have a new superhero, The Fox. This is at issue number one. I've always loved the Archie superhero books. And I'm looking forward to picking this one up. We also get Betty and Veronica Jumbo Comics. This is issue number 15. It is an 80-page book with some new stories. From AWA Upshot, we get Hit Me. This is issue number three in a five-issue run. Over at Behemoth, we have You Follow Me Into Darkness. This is at number four, finishing off its four-issue run. And it's going to have three covers. From Mad Cave Studios, we have Speed Republic. This is issue number four, and it's going to have two covers. From Oni Press this week, we can pre-order 
Season of the Bruja. This is issue number three, and this has been a fun, fantastical journey. From Opus Press, we get the rock and roll tale of Disturbed, Dark Messiah. At Scout Comics this week, a single book, Cult of Icarus, which is at issue number four. And Source Point Press, we have Corollary, issue number two, with a single cover. Cover of Darkness, issue number five, that's going to have two covers for us. And Garrett Gunn, the hardest working creator in comic books right now, gives us Good Boy, issue number one. This is a color splash director's cut and should be a fantastic story. We have My Brother Teddy. This is a one shot with a single cover. Sham Comics, Nerdly Boys. This looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. This again, issue number two, and we'll have a single cover. And Trash and Cannon is at issue number four. This one's just a blast. From Titan Comics this week, we can order Blade Runner Origins. This is a great story set in the Blade Runner universe. Has three available covers. And Rivers of London, issue number one, kicks off this new series. We're going to have four different covers that we can choose from. And running through this list, I've noticed that Vault Comics has all of my favorites. I am subscribed to every single one of these books. Vault is just knocking it out of the park these days. Let's see what we got. We've got Dark Interlude, Dark Brooding. This is a fantastic book. We've got two available covers for issue number five. Then we got Fox and Hare. This is a new series. I believe this is the one in ten. There are seven available covers. Many of them are ratio variants. We've got one in 50s, one in 100s. The cover work looks fantastic. This is a one in 100 here. I think this is going to be a fantastic series, and I can't wait for this one. And then, of course, we've got the last book you'll ever read. This is issue number eight. We've got one cover showing. Shadow Service, issue number 12. We Ride Titans is just a fantastic kaiju story. That's at issue number four. And we have West of Sundown, which is at issue number three. Issue number one came out, I believe, two weeks ago. It was a fantastic book. I'm really looking forward to seeing where this story goes. And now for our image comics, we're going to kick off the list with A Town Called Terror. This is issue number 22. Number one was a fantastic read, so we expect great things from this series. It's going to have a single cover for us. Next, we have a new title from Image. Um, we're going to say, I hate this place. This is a new horror anthology series, kind of in the vein of Homesick Pilot or Gideon Falls. And it follows a couple as they move into a haunted house and see all the creatures and everything. <laughs> Looks like it's going to be pretty good, so I'm looking forward to that one. They've got two covers solicited for Final Order Cutoff. We have artwork for one of those right now. Next, Rain from Joe Hill is at issue number five, and that's got two covers this week. And King Spawn is soliciting three separate covers, an open order cover, this black sketch variant, and this Fernandez sketch variant. These are typically an RI. I'm not sure if they're doing that with this book, but it is pretty cool and a nice one to have in your collection. New Masters is at issue number four of its run with the single cover, as is Oblivion Song, issue number 36. We've got Slumber, issue number 3, and that's going to have two covers to choose from. And Stillwater, issue number 13, from Chip Zdarsky, has a single cover. Unnatural Blue Blood takes us back into the unnatural world. That's going to have two regular covers, as well as a sketch variant that's going to be available. And of course, Walking Dead Deluxe is at issue number 39. We've got three covers for the birthing issue, all in full color. You're not going to want to miss out on this key moment in Walking Dead history. All right, traders, now it's time for your DC Comics with Final Order Cutoff, April 24th, 2022. We start with Batman Beyond the White Knight. This is issue number three in this eight-issue run. And we're going to have two great open order covers for us to choose from. Next, we have Batman Superman World's Finest at issue number three. That's going to have these two fantastic open order covers. 
this 1 in 25 Raphael Sarmento cardstock variant and the super fun 1 in 50 Jorge Corona chibi cardstock variant. Next, we have Batman the Knight. We have an A cover and a B cover cardstock variant. And Catwoman, issue number 43, has two open order covers, the B cover, a Jenny Friesen cardstock variant, and this 1 in 25 Catwoman Harley Quinn cardstock cover. Next is Danger Street, issue number one of a 12 issue run. That's going to have two open order covers, a 1 in 25 Lee Weeks cardstock sketch variant, and this 1 in 50 Ben Oliver Dr. Fate cardstock variant. Next, Duo, issue number one of six. This looks like it's going to be a new chapter in the Milestone universe, and that's going to have two covers, including this 1 in 25 Namit Malvia cardstock variant. Next, Earth Prime, issue number 406, Stargirl, has a single cover. And Fables, issue 151, is going to have two available covers for us. Flash is at issue 782, and that's going to have two covers. And Looney Tunes, issue 266, has a single cover. Then Nightwing, issue number 92, has three different covers for open order. And this 1 in 25 David Tulisky cardstock cheesecake cover. And Shadow War Zone, issue number one, this is going to be a one shot. You've got two open order covers and this super cool 1 in 50 Leslie Lyrixi Lee variant. Swamp Thing Green Hill, issue number two in this three issue run from DC Black Label, is going to have three covers, including this 1 in 25 Christian Ward variant. And finally, we've got Wonder Woman Evolution, issue number 7 of 8, with two covers, including this Gary Frank cardstock B cover. All right, it's time for your final order cutoff spec report. I apologize, got a little bit of a cold going on here, but bear with me, we'll get through this. For DC Comics this week, I'm going to select Duo, written by Greg Pack, with art by Koi Fomond and Scott Hanna, this is a new hero in the DC Milestone imprint. This story is going to follow a married couple that are micro-robotic scientists specializing in nanobots and become one with their technology. The duo looks to be a wild ride on Earth-M, and it all kicks off here with issue number one. With little coming from Marvel this week, other than our readers, we, we've got some great books over at Image. So we have a couple of great ones that I think have potential. We've got a, a new horror title, I Hate This Place Issue 1. Now that isn't the name that's on the cover of the book. We have to keep it family friendly here, but you get the idea. We've got two covers solicited for Final Order Cutoff. We only have artwork for one of those two. The book's being billed as akin to Gideon Falls or Homesick Pilots. Both are great books and on my poll list. Now, it's got some beautiful interiors with mood-setting palettes, and the story follows a couple as they joyfully move into a new home, only to find that it's haunted. Now, this book's from the creative team of Kyle Starks and Serdam Toplin from Ice Cream Man, and this one looks like it's going to be a hit. Also from over at Image, we've got The Walking Dead Deluxe. Now, this is the full-color run, taken directly from the original Walking Dead black and white series. This is issue number 39. Now in a run full of keys, this is a bigger book. It's the birthing issue where Lori gives birth to her daughter. This was a moment that traumatized me both in the original run and on the TV show. I'm going to be grabbing all three covers for this. Now those are the books that I'm going to be picking up on pre-order for spec. Let us know in the comments what books you're interested in. And make sure to hit the like. And there you have it, traders. Those are all the books for Final Order Cutoff coming up this weekend. Sunday the 24th, Monday the 25th, 2022. Make sure to contact your local comic shops. If you don't have a local comic shop, you might want to check out a couple of the online. Mill Geek has a great setup going for you. And there's plenty of others out there. So there's places to get your books. If you like what we do, leave a comment, like, and please subscribe. Share the video if you'd like, and we'll see you back here next week for next week's video.